how to record your screen screencasting or screen recording you're going to make a video out of the contents of your screen it can be on your smartphone or your pc and this is very important especially if you want to say make a faceless video or you want to make a tutorial where you teach something or you want to make an educational video where you design powerpoint slides go through the slide while you teach something or it could be a reaction video where you play something or you go through something on your screen while you also react or it could just be a game video where you're playing a game and you want to record your gameplay and so basically it involves you recording your screen making some form of commentary or voiceover and if you wish you can have a picture in picture, picture recording like a video of yourself while you speak and while you go through your screen recording there are different ways you can achieve your screen recording or your screen casting youtube loves hearing your voice so i wouldn't advise you doing a voiceless screen recording so the first option we have is screen recording without showing your face the second option we have is screen recording with a picture in picture recording of yourself so you appear like a clip at the lower button or anywhere on the screen and the third option is what i call hybrid where you switch between a full camera and the screen recording meaning that once in a while you show just your face without any screen recording and at other times you show just the screen recording without showing your face and in your editing software you bring them together neatly and so one camera will be showing your face maybe your smartphone and the other software will be recording the screen recording now to achieve screen recording or screen casting you need a software or an app an app when you're using your smartphone or a software when you're using your pc and granted some smartphones especially the recent ones have the ability to record inbuilt without using an external or a third-party app however it is drastically limited in functionality and it doesn't have those robust features that some of these third-party recording apps have there are different types of screen recorders from du recorder to mobizen recorder and so on some free others paid and some come with free plans and paid options similarly pc and computers several ones out there there's camtasia there's screen customatic some persons use obs but it's quite technical and there are some free screen recorders out there and paid screen recorder out there but this is very important the process and the principles are the same you simply just need to learn one and master it thoroughly and whatever process i give in this video today it will apply to all other screen recorders out there so we don't need to go through each software type individually the first step will be to get your screen recorder app or software you have it downloaded and installed the second step is to determine what type of video and form of screen recording you want to do do you want to show your face or you don't want to show your face completely is it an educational video where you have to design your powerpoint slides before you even start anything or is it a tutorial where you have to teach us how to do something on the screen or is it a gaming video you want to play games and record your games or you want to react to a particular video so the second step is to determine the type and form of screen recording you want to do the next step is to launch your software or app and make sure that your camera and your microphone is connected it doesn't matter which software you're using it could be StreamYard or even loom just make sure that the appropriate microphone is connected and the appropriate camera is connected when all that is done and is tested the next step will be to hit the record button and start screen recording if you make mistakes you can just pause ignore the mistakes and continue recording there will be an option for you to edit out and cut out mistakes later on so go through the process go through your slides recording your slides and your voice and optionally your face or not or go through the particular software you want to teach or the game you want to play the different apps and the different software have the ability for you to pause and to stop the recording so when you are done recording all you want to record you can go ahead and click 
the stop button. The next step will be to edit your raw screen recording. This will involve removing spaces and mistakes and arms and ends and second guessings, repetitions and fluff so that your recording is clean, fast paced and straight to the point. It will also involve you adding b-rolls and arrows and text and different things to help to improve the user experience and increase the audience retention. So go ahead, add different assets, the like button, the subscribe button, the sound effects, the background sound, just as you would edit any other video. And if you recorded your face separately from the screen recording, this is the time where you have to choose when to put your face and when to put the screen recording. You can switch depending on what you are saying as the video progresses. If you are using your smartphone, you'll be able to achieve these using software like Inch shot or kind master or cap cut. if you are using your laptop you can use shortcut or filmora or camtasia or adobe premiere pro and the truth is some of these screen recording software and apps have inbuilt editing functionality so you can just edit your raw screen recording natively on the app there are different tutorials on youtube to guide you depending on the particular software or app you are using but the core of everything is play around just take one or two days to just play around the different aspects and functionalities of the app so that you get familiar with it and you find that recording your screen you know connecting your mic and your camera is not the issue the challenge might be with editing your raw screen recording and if you are interested in that click here to watch the video on how to use shortcuts to edit your raw screen recording on your pc click here to watch how to use InShot to edit your raw screen recording on your smartphone if you find this video very helpful hit the like button and stay subscribed to this youtube channel play big and i'll see you in the next one